Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine from Sewing and the City and I'm coming to you today from behind my serger because we're going to be doing a deep dive into the four thread safety stitch. This is one of my favorite stitches um, because it eliminates the need for reinforcing your seams with your sewing machine. So this is great for knits and wovens and we're going to dive into all the details. Um, here in a second. So I took this video directly from my course, Simple Surging, um, which I'll share the link below if you want to check it out. I also have a special $10 coupon for you. Um, so it makes it just $27. If you want to check out the course, we cover all the stitches on your serger, as well as troubleshooting the tension and all the goodies so you can really master your serger overlocker. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the four thread safety stitch. going to be taking a look at my favorite most used overlock stitch and that is the four thread safety stitch. So one of the reasons why I love this stitch and why I use it so much is it actually um, eliminates the need to secure our seams with the sewing machine because this stitch with this stitch we are going to be using both of our loopers and both of our needles. So we get, this gives us a really secure seam. So you don't need to reinforce the seam with your sewing machine stitches. So this is literally a stitch you can use for your lounger, for your active wear, um, wovens, like literally anything. And you don't need to use your sewing machine to secure the seams. So super versatile stitch, really, really practical. So like I said, you can use this on your wovens. It gives you a a really nice secure clean seam finish um, but on your knits it's so cool because this four thread safety stitch the chain stitch that's giving you the security that's giving you a nice um, you know secure seam like your sewing machine would do it actually stretches so if you use this on your active wear um, you get a seam that is really, really comfortable and stretches with your knit fabric. How cool is that? So this is definitely my go-to and eliminates the need for using your sewing machine. Um, it works so, so well with your knits. So my machine gives me a 3 8 of an inch wide safety stitch. Um, so, but I would recommend definitely checking your own manual because you may have the option to make a wider safety stitch um, and which can give you, you know, you could set it for like a five eighths of an inch um, or different different widths, which will give you, um, you know, just a different sewing experience, different seam allowance. Um, mine only comes, my four thread safety only comes in one width. Um, so three eighths of an inch is what I'm going to be sewing with in my examples. I'm cover in a future lesson. So I'm going to need to um, set up my machine. I'm gonna need to add another needle so that I have both of my needles, and then I'm going to re-thread that needle um, and get it all set up to sew. And then we're gonna sew some tests um, and I'll show you some different things that you can use this four thread safety stitch on. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab my spare needle as well as my mini screwdriver. I am going to be working with my machine in the off position and I'm going to be working with the presser foot down just because as I change or as I add the additional needle, um, having the presser foot down just gives me more space in that area. So all I'm gonna do, I have the right needle in, so I'm just gonna loosen this left side uh, screw here, um, giving it you know four or five turns and then I'll just take my needle um, just like our sewing machine, um, the needles go in with the flat side towards the back. So it's, it's literally exactly like, um, like our sewing machine. So I'm just going to pop that needle in, in right in that left hand spot and then push it, make sure it's up as far as it will go. And then I'll just turn this screw to tighten it up. There we go. Um, and I'll just check this right one too. I'll just give that there. They're both nice and tight. Okay, so now to get this threaded, I'm just uh, actually going to lift my presser foot. That's going to disengage my tension, which I always like to do um, when I'm threading. It just makes it a little bit easier to get the thread through the tension guides. 
So then I'll just floss this through my first thread guide, there we go, through the tension, and then down through my very first thread guide there, and then down and up, through my left hand side thread guide by the needle and then I'll just thread this left hand side needle. Um, I can use my tweezers if I need to. There we go. And then what I'll do is just take both of my needle threads and I'm going to just uh, put them right under my presser foot and towards the back. So just feeding those to the back and smoothing out my threads. So now I can drop my presser foot turn my machine on and I'm just going to sew a few stitches using my hand wheel just to make sure that I see the overlock stitches actually forming right below my presser foot there and they are so that means everything um, hopefully is threaded correctly and we're ready to go. Okay so I have a woven here and I'm going to sew a test um, just starting a bit slowly and then I can start faster. There we go. Okay, there, looking good. Looks like the tension is pretty good right out of the gate. Um, so yeah, that is the setup for our four thread safety stitch. So if, if your four thread safety stitch is not looking like mine, definitely take a look at the tension lesson because we're gonna be working with this stitch and getting it perfected. Um, but what I wanted to show you now is what you can do with this stitch just by changing the stitch length. So um, just like our sewing machines, the stitch length um, adjusts the, the length of the stitch. So um, the mine has a setting from one to five. So one being really, really small stitch length, close together, five being like really long, like what we would use for a gather or something. So I'm just going to set my stitch length to one and, um, and sew a few inches and just show you what, what the difference that we get. So let's see. Okay, then I'm gonna change, um, I'm gonna bump it up to a three, which is where I was sewing before. And now I'm gonna bump it all the way to a five. Awesome, okay, so now you can get an idea for how different this stitch can be just based on changing the stitch length. So here, where we were sewing with a one stitch length, this would be amazing for, for example, with a denim or some um, fabric that you wanna have more coverage, maybe even a bit of a decorative stitch perhaps. Um, this really short stitch length gives you that really, really good coverage. And then in the middle here is where um, I would, I, I, where I usually sew just a good balanced general um, uh, overlock with the nice uh, edge finish. So then the longer stitch length, the, it was set at a five. This could be a really interesting um, basting stitch even. So that's what you can do by just by changing the stitch length. So I hope you enjoy using the four thread safety stitch as much as I do. Literally, this is the stitch that normally I have my machine set to um, just because I have the option of not needing to use my machine, um, which is really, really nice. So in the next lesson, we're going to be looking at the three thread overlock stitch, which is also a really beautiful edge finish. So I will see you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. <laughs>